Hello there everyone and welcome to this installation video showing you how to install the Napoleonic Eras mod for Napoleon Total War. I've already got all the necessary files to install it here on my desktop but I should of course show you where to download them. So we're gonna head over to ModDB and we're gonna go ahead and start here. You're gonna head over to Napoleonic Eras chapter, go ahead and find that. Then you're going to go to add-ons and we're going to go down here. So the files that we need to download is part 1, part 2 and the text file. There's also sub-mods that you can use. In this case I'm just going to show you the basics. So we're not going to be using the sub-mod. So again, part 1, part 2 and the text file. While we're on ModDB, we should also get the mod manager for Napoleon Total War. So go ahead and download that. And then let's head back to the desktop. Now we've got all the files needed right here. And we need to extract them and put them in the right folder. So for part 1 and part 2 and part 3, it's exactly the same process. And I'm going to show you. I'm going to go ahead and extract these. And what you want to do is you want to go down through C and then you go programs 86 and then you head down to Steam and then Steam apps common and there you got all your games and then Napoleon and then data. So if we go back to start here we got the C drive programs 86 and then you got Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Napoleon Total War, Data. Extract that. I've already done that, so I don't need to do that. And then you do exactly the same thing with part two. Now for the text file, here is actually where we need to make a choice. We should actually open up this one. And then we take a look. So here you've got a number of different text packs or a number of different packs and what you want to do at this point is actually select what campaign you want to do because it is Napoleonic eras so they've split it up into a number of different eras during the war so we got early revolutionary war then we've got sort of the middle of the war period, invasion of Russia and so on, and then it goes all the way down here to 1815. So depending on what campaign you want to do, you want to just go ahead and extract just that text file. So in this case, what I want to go ahead and do is I want to play the 1815 campaign. So I would go ahead and extract that into the data folder just like we did the other files. With that done it's now time to start the mod manager. So go ahead and extract that onto your desktop. I've already done that. So let's go ahead and start the mod manager. If you don't get all of these boxes to click and you wonder what's wrong with my mod manager, there's nothing wrong. You just need to unselect the boxes over here and then you should be able to select a number of or all these. You'll be able to select these. Now we need to select them in a specific order. So let's head back to ModDB and the Napoleonic Eras chapter, campaign part one. Let's head down here, description, read more. And here we got the loading order. So this is the order in which we need to load all these pack files. So you go back to the mod manager, you line these up, and you can see the LUA pack, you click on that, then we've got the Darth effect, you click on that, the sound uh, version 2, you go ahead and click on that, no forts regions, I believe this one's down here somewhere, there, no forts, religion, click on that. Once you've done all of these, down to you get to here. Here is where you start to select your campaign again. So remember, 
I was doing 18, 15, so we want to do 18, 15, right? First things first is to select basically uniforms, is what we're selecting here. So the battle mauve. And then we go down here to the bottom where we can see the num number of different ones we can select. In this case, since I'm doing the late campaign, one, I'm sele one I've selected is this one right here, which is 1811 to 1815, the range of uniforms there. If you want to do an earlier one, say you wanted to do uh, 1792 or Revolutionary War, you would select this one. Say you wanted to do earlier than 1811, then it's 1807 to 1811, or even earlier than this 1803 to 1807, I believe. So, in this case, I want late campaign, so I'm going to select the late uniforms. Next up, we got the chapters, and they are up here. A little bit easier to follow, because the entire year is written out. And since I'm doing 1815, I've selected 1815, but it's the same process there, so you just correspond and put the three correct ones. And then once that's done, you continue on down the line until everything's done. Once that's done, you click launch, it will load a little bit, and then you're ready. And at that point, everything should be done. It's just go ahead, go to Napoleon, start it up, and you should be gold. And hopefully, I've done this so that it helps you and is sufficiently easy for you. And you know what? There's nothing more to say, so I'll say this. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this, and hopefully, I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye.